Hello, viewers of Executive TV. This is the Good Shepherd Kids Paradise Show. I'm Chamayabua Anita, the host for the show. The show is educative, exciting, and interactive. Remember to make time with us and you will never regret. Good Shepherd Kids Paradise Show, the most educative kids show. Bye! Hello, viewers of Executive TV. This is the Good Shepherd Kids Paradise. Chemayabua Anita is my name, and I'm here with my guests who are Cross and Hill and Gambiti Matilda. Okay, today we are here to talk about bribery and corruption. Each and every time I hear these words, bribery and corruption, I start to feel bad because it's a bad practice undertaken by a person or organization. Okay, before we start, do you know that bribery and corruption is an illegal activity? Yeah. Okay. Now we will move on to know the explanation for bribery and corruption. Matoda, please give us the explanation for bribery. Thanks for the opportunity. In my opinion, when you say bribery, what comes into my mind is collecting something for executing one's lawful duty. Okay, thank you very much. Rahel, give us the explanation for corruption. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. In my opinion, Corruption is a form of criminal activity undertaken by a person or organization entrusted with a position of authority, offering to acquire illicit benefits. Okay, thank you very much. I think you are all on the right path. As we've, as we've heard the explanation for both bribery and corruption, we will move on to know the causes of bribery and corruption. So Matilda, even if we say causes of bribery and corruption, what do you know or what do you understand about it? Causes of bribery and corruption. In my opinion, I would like to say what brings in this bribery and corruption thing we are talking about. Okay, what brings in bribery and corruption? Yeah. Okay, Rahel, I would like you to say one or two causes of bribery and corruption. Okay, I would like to say poverty. Okay, why? Explain. Because if someone is poor, and let's say this person is the breadwinner of his family, and this person is not God-fearing, where do you expect the person to get money from? Unless this person bribes a manager to get him or her a job. Okay, thank you very much. Matilda, what would you like to say? I'd like to say unemployment. Okay. Let me make an example here. Let's say a university graduate who is done with the university, service and does not have a job what will he or she do he or she will end up by paying a manager of a company to get the job okay i understand i agree with you i hold don't you agree yeah i agree with you okay do anyone have something to add right okay i will say greed of money largely power and any other materialistic desires because if someone is greed the person is also jealous so if this person have a, has a friend who is richer than him or her, the person may try to become the same as his friend. So the person may bribe a manager to get him or her a job. Okay, yes, because recently I just saw a video on the social media talking about two friends, which one was richer than the other. Because the other one was not rich, the person went to the manager of a company for a job and the person got the job but the person did not deserve or have any knowledge about the job yeah. so this one too is found under bribery and corruption right okay matola do you have anything to add or it's okay it's okay i'm not okay to okay rahel it's, it's okay. okay okay now as we've heard the causes of bribery and corruption we'll move on to know about the effects of bribery and corruption okay Rahel, even if we say effects of bribery and corruption, what do you understand about it? 
Okay, I will say the consequences of bribery and corruption. Okay, thank you very much. As I said earlier, I will give you the chance for you to mention two or more effects of bribery and corruption. I would like to say lack of respect for our rulers. Why? If there is bribery and corruption in our community or our country, there will be respect for our rulers. Okay, okay, well, okay I will say lack of proper justice. Let's make this example. Let's say we sent a case to the court and in the case I was innocent and you were guilty. But because you were rich, you were able to bribe your lawyer to change the case. And at the end of the day, I was guilty and you were innocent. Okay, is it because I had more money than you? Yeah. Okay, I understand and I have more money than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matilda, do you have anything to add? Okay, I would like to say death. Let me make an example. Let's say a minister who was caught receiving bribe from someone and maybe someone videoed them and the person can decide to use this video as a threat on the minister mm -hmm. or even put this video on social media and it, and it will be so shameful to mm -hmm. see yourself in that way and this one too can yeah, lead to can death, death or suicide. suicide yes so if you were him would you have done the same yeah i would have done the same too because it's so shameful Oh my god, I'm not sure you're going to do the same thing because you are the Good Shepherd Kids Paradise and you're not going to take such a responsibility to partake or practice. Yes. Okay. Rahel, do you have anything to add? Okay, I will say imprisonment. Okay. Because right. if someone is caught receiving bribe, you know bribery and corruption is an illegal activity. Yes, as you said earlier. So the person may end up in prison. Okay very short and simple okay as we've heard the effects and the causes of bribery and corruption we will move on to know about the preventive measures or the prevention of bribery and corruption okay who wants to start for me matilda please start okay preventions i like to say press freedom okay the government should ed uh, let our press to educate us on bribery and corruption so that we can stop the spread of bribery and corruption. Okay, thank you very much. Ryan. Okay, I will say high income of payment. If the government increases the salaries of government workers, I don't think they will collect bribe. But some people, they are greedy. If you give them the whole money in this world, they will not be satisfied. Yes, yes. some people, they are very greedy. You yes. need to be content with what you have. Yes, do you know that we are different people and because we are individual people others are greedy and others too are content with what they have so we are not the same yes okay do you have anything to add yeah i would like to add job opportunities okay because the government should provide more jobs. yeah the government need to provide more job opportunities okay okay Bye. okay i would like to say law enforcement if the government gives strict punishment to those who practice bribery and corruption, I don't think people will continue to practice bribery and corruption. Okay, so the, do you mean the person will serve as a scapegoat for others? Yes. Okay, or it will be an example for others so that the person, the other person who does that will, be also, will also be punished. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Viewers, now, as we've seen the causes of bribery and corruption, the effects of bribery and corruption, and the preventive measures of bribery and corruption, I would say bribery and corruption is not undertaken by only two or more people, but I can say it's practiced by almost all of us. Some deeds unknowingly or accidentally, giving out something for a job or giving out something for anything is under bribery and corruption and we have to stoop we have to put a stop on that to that very good now i know you understand what i'm saying okay now if i give you the chance for you to say something to the government on bribery on corruption what would you like to say okay i would like to say the government should increase the salaries of government workers okay Matilda. i would like to tell the government to educate us on bribery and corruption okay very good now i will give you guys the chance for you to greet or thank anyone you would like to do so okay i would like to 
with my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Kosa, and my brother Jeffrey, and all students and teachers of Gose. Okay, Matilda. I like to say hi to my classmates, Sabrina Mwako and Amache, my three teacher. And I would like to say hi to my mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Gambidi. And I would like to say hi to my elder sister, Sister Vivian. Okay, thank you very much. As for me, first and foremost, I will, we will give the thanks to the Almighty God for bringing us this far. Secondly, we will thank all teachers and students of Good Shepherd and the director, the headmaster and secretary for giving us the opportunity to come to Executive TV to perform the Good Shepherd Kids Paradise. And thirdly, we will give thanks to the managing director for Executive TV. Thank you very much for giving us this platform to perform the Good Shepherd Kids Paradise show. Okay, as for me, I will thank my mother and my father, Mr. and Mrs. Chairman, and my siblings and all teachers and students at Good Shepherd Educational Institute. Thank you all for all what you've done for us. Okay, this is the Good Shepherd Kids Paradise. We shall meet next week. Bye. <laughs>